Hey there. <laughs> Hold there. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. Um, we are doing a motivational video for you guys today. We've been seeing a lot of people on Instagram lately um, and even some comments on YouTube and just like people around that we know are really struggling. It's, it's starting to come to the end where it's way past January, New Year's resolutions are starting to be broken and people are falling off the paths that they set out off their tracks. Um, they're struggling, they're asking you know, for help. And so we thought we would do a video saying, don't give up. And this will give you a bit of an insight into our heads. We're doing this motivational video for you guys today because we're at a point now where we're really frustrated and we're doing a cut and we're not happy campers right now. And you know what? We both said to each other, this is the perfect time to get up and give a positive message and use this as a learning experience and share it with you guys in hopes that it'll help somebody out there that's really having a tough time right now. Yeah, because when you're at your lowest, even though you really want to like give up or break something, um, <laughs> or kick something, or eat a pop tart, yeah, that means you need to fight your hardest. That means that what you're doing, don't stop it. We realized that we cut too long for the intensity of our workouts, and today we were really feeling it. And these are the days where we're like standing in the middle of the room, staring at things going, wow, I think our carbs are way too low. And it's not even anywhere close to cheat day. And we're really and stubborn. So we try to keep pushing as hard as we normally would to have a normal workout when we're not eating much. Yes. Our problem now is not falling off track like it was in the very beginning of our weight loss journey. Now our problem is letting being a little more relaxed we want to push intensity seven days a week in every workout in all of our cardio and sometimes we push too hard and then we end up facing challenges like we did these last few months where we get injuries i got a knee injury from just overusing my knee and it is weak from when I was very heavy and I had to stop doing leg workouts for two weeks and it has killed me. I felt so terrible and guilty and I started beating myself up saying why did you do that to yourself because you know now you're gonna lose all the progress that you worked so hard for and my brain works that I push myself until I can't anymore, until my body physically says you have to stop. So I need to learn from, from this that sometimes it's okay to take a break. Sometimes pushing yourself too much, it's just gonna set you back. It's about finding that balance. And it's okay to make these mistakes because if I didn't get this knee injury, I wouldn't have learned that Sometimes you actually should take a break from doing certain training certain body parts so that when you come back, your gains are gonna be even better than they were before. And those are the things that I kind of had to switch my brain around to thinking instead of beating myself up for doing it because I'd injured my knee, it was too late. I can't take that back, I just have to learn from it. And so what I ended up doing was training extra upper body and seeing more improvements in my upper body. So even though I was really worried about losing my lower body gains, I gained an upper body. So it's about taking those moments where you fall off track or you push yourself too hard and you run yourself down um, or you face you know, certain challenges like someone in your life is hurt or you're hurt or sick or whatever, you have to modify things. You know, um, Kyle used the word, we had to be creative. You know, he had a sore neck and shoulder for a while. He went too hard and hurt his knees for a couple of days. Um, I had a sore knee and a sore heel. So we had to just 
make creative workouts. You know, I did workouts where I sat and totally just trained upper body without even bearing any weight on my heel or my knee. You know, he, he did legs when he couldn't do his shoulder or, um, or his neck was sore. So it's, it's about accommodating things. You can still train or do whatever you want to do. You just have to work around it. We also faced um, a day where it was cheat day and we were on our way to get chicken, Popeye's chicken. <laughs> and out of nowhere, someone, you know, didn't yield in a roundabout. I don't know if everyone has those, but um, they didn't yield. They didn't quite understand how to work the roundabout and they hit us. And we were frustrated because, you know, he didn't admit that he hit us. Um, and we, it, it disturbed our day. It interrupted our cheat day. We had to go, you know, drive to the reporting place and report it and it was closed. And it was just one thing after another. And both of us got the thought in our head, you know, we were also filming our cheat day that day. And we got, both of us got in our head, maybe we should just not film it. Maybe we should just scrap it. And then maybe we should just not go get, you know, our dinner and just basically just chuck the whole day. It's ruined now because of the accident. And then we both, it was just an instant thought. And then we immediately said, no, we're going to get right back on the highway and go get our chicken. And then we're going to go home and film it. And when we edited, when, when Kyle edited the video and we looked back and we watched it, we were like, wow, you would never even know we were just in a car accident five minutes before that. But it really, it taught us to appreciate, we already appreciate each other, but it taught us to really appreciate each other and that day and that life is short and and that we love what we're doing and sharing our life with you guys and our cheat days and our, our knowledge about our weight loss journey. Yeah. And when we both decided to like, no, we're not going to give up on the day. We're not going to let it ruin our day or our mood. And we're definitely not going to stop filming our cheat day for you guys. We said yeah. we're turning on that friggin' camera and we're getting the chicken and we're, yes. <laughs> we're going to enjoy, good. we're going to enjoy every bite of it. And let's have fun because it was something yeah, that happened did. it was something that happened to us that was out of our control and yeah it could have ruined our day but you get to make the decision on how how the rest of your day goes and things happen to everyone and everyone faces challenges every single day it's about what you make of that okay so what you broke down and you fell off your diet or you didn't work out one day there's another day that's the good thing is you're going to wake up the next day and it's going to be a new day and you can follow your diet and go train the next day. It's okay. These, when you're doing a weight loss journey or a fitness journey, you're going to have bumps along the road. It wouldn't be a road without little bumps and little accidents and, you know, potholes along the way. You just have to navigate them. You need to make the decision to say, it doesn't matter what happens in life. There was one time a few years ago where I got really sick and I needed to go to the hospital and get an IV put in and they couldn't find a vein. And I ended up with seven needle holes in my arms and we were still at the hospital laughing and joking even while I was getting poked the entire time. And, you know, they ended up on the eighth hole finding a vein and that actually worked. But there I was being like pricked, like whatever gets pricked. <laughs> and we were still laughing and having fun. So it's about the choices that you make. It's about the way you take a, a, a moment that's not so great. You can make it or break it. So, you know, we took that day, that accident day, and we made it. And yeah, today we're frustrated, but we're making a video and hopefully we're gonna reach out and help some people who were feel, are feeling frustrated and down. So 
we're turning it around right now. You know, you choose. So don't give up because no matter what, the re the just the fact that you're watching this video means that you still have fight left in you and take it. Take whatever little millimeter of fight you've got left and keep going. Everything that Kyle and I have faced in our lives, you know, we both had very rough childhoods. I, I'm sure many people have and it doesn't matter because we fought through that. We fought through our eating disorders. We fought through many, many things. And when we were very overweight, we would let these negative times and situations actually keep us depressed for long periods of time. And that's the real change that's happened now after we've lost our weight and dealt with our emotional eating and stuff, we can take things in stride. But we're still human, we still feel, you know, the frustration and not reaching our goals fast enough and... Yeah, like today, I have a favorite line that's from one of my favorite movies, The Cutting Edge, and why don't you just chuck it all and start your own think tank? <laughs> I always say that when I start getting frustrated and today I wanted to chuck it all and start my own think tank, which means I wanted to say screw it and eat Pop-Tarts. <laughs> But I won't because it's not my day to eat Pop-Tarts. I'll eat Pop-Tarts on my day and I'll keep going and... So if you guys are struggling, hang in there. It's just a state of mind that you're in right now. There will be a better day. You will wake up tomorrow and you might have a new outlook on things and um, you, you can do it. Remember, you can make it or you can break it. So even a crappy moment or a crappy day, you can turn it around. You can use that. Learn from it. Take something out of it. Kyle and I now try to take something positive out of every negative thing that happens. There's a lesson in there somewhere to learn and you can always spin it around. Yes, and so our lesson today is don't cut for two weeks. Cut for one week and then add some food in. <laughs> um, so. What is your lesson, friends? And feel free to share it down below if you like. Feel yeah, we free. love hearing your stories and what you're going through and let yeah. us know and we'll try to do our best to respond and get back to you guys. So um, thank you guys so much for, for watching. You know, we really appreciate all of your support and we, we hear you and we see you struggling. And, we're, and we're right there with you guys. You're never alone. Know that guys, we're always here. We're always trying to think up videos that will help you guys. And um, you know, it helps us too. You guys inspire us and help keep us going. So remember, you can make it or break it. Don't give up guys, you can do it. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Because if not, <laughs> what are you gonna get today? I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna get the two fastest of the world. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys.